collective. We have to talk about the planets. This is a lunar read, okay? We are talking about the full moon in, in Aquarius that is happening August 1st, okay? But this full moon is important because it is one of these super moons that will have that will be happening in the uh, month of August. Now, super moon just means that the moon is going to be close to Earth. So we'll be picking up on its frequencies and energies that it is giving off during this time. And it's happening in the sign of Aquarius. That's not all. For the astrology aficionados, you know that August brings one very important astrological, astrologi astrological holiday. I had it right the first time. The Lion's Gate portal happens on August 8th, okay? This full moon will be coupled up with that event. Now, what does this, what does all this mean, Mo? What does all this mean? Now, because the moon is going to be very close to Earth and we'll be picking up on its energies and it's happening in the sign of Aquarius, we have a lot of mental shit going on. Your mind has been heavy. You've been overthinking things. It's been very hard to get out of your head. Aquarius, you just want to get away, okay? You just want to feel a sense of relief. Basically, you're being shown what it's time for you to remove yourself from. Because with the Aquarius energy, you want to be in a whole new season. Okay, you want to be in a whole new chapter of life. So you are being shown mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, what, what's holding you down. What are the rocks tied around your ankles? Okay. Um, to book a personal reading with me, price and contact information is in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. I'm currently running promo special sales, promo sales specials on my birth chart readings. They're 35, 35. More information is in the description box and in my community tab. And I'm running uh, that same exact sale on August monthly readings. Those are 40, 40. Okay. All information is in the description box and on the community tab on my YouTube channel. Now, we're going to pull one card to see what the overall energy is that this full moon is going to be bringing. Because everybody is picking up on this energy. Everybody is feeling this energy during this time, okay? And then we're going to do a spread, okay? Now, basically, what we're reading, we're going to be reading for is seeing how this full moon is going to be affecting us up until, up until the next new moon, which I think is August 13th. Excuse me. So sorry. All right. Next new moon will be August 16th. My bad. It's a few days off. Okay. So what are we being shown up until this new moon? And is going to be in the sign of Leo. What are we being shown? What are we being um, exposed to up until this next new moon? Spirit guys, what energy is this full moon in Aquarius going to have on the collective? What in what uh what side effect? What energy is this full moon in Aquarius going to have the collective in on August first in the year twenty twenty three? Okay. The, the nastiest fucking cards, especially be, being combined, girl. Devil and the Seven Swords. Basically, what's bad for you? What's bad for your health? What's bad for your body? What's bad for your sanity? What's taking advantage of you? You're being shown what's no good for your collective. Yep, the signs are there. Eight of Wands, okay? Some of y'all are going to find, oh girl, it sucks. Okay, it sucks. Some of y'all are going to find out someone's a liar. Some of y'all are going to find out someone's a cheater. Some of y'all are going to find out you're being taken advantage of. Some of y'all are going to find out that someone, someone or something isn't on the up and up. Okay? Mm-hmm. But rather you find out now than later. Sun, moon, not a uh, sun and the moon, nine of cups and the five of swords. It's like you would have uh, kept believing some sort of fantasy. Okay? 
if this didn't get exposed to you. Good boobly movie. Spirit guys, how is this full moon? And Aquarius going to be affecting the collective. How's this full moon Aquarius going to be affecting the collective in August 2023? Ace of Swords with the Six of Swords. See, it's okay. Because with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords, we're going to be brought some very ugly truths that allow us to move on from certain things collective, okay? Maybe it's already been happening for you, okay? Or going up into this new moon, this will be happening. Yes! So we had to get through the ugly shit first. We had to get through the storm first. Star card and the six of swords. Yes, you're being brought out of some, some bad energy, okay? Some, some, some not so good days, okay? You're being pulled out of a bad situation, collective, by being um, told the truth about something. Air. Air and fire, I see this happening for all y'all. Leo, Aquarius, Libra. <sighs> but some of y'all, it is time for you to separate, separate from something. That with the devil card, you're being taken advantage of. You're being, um, oh my God, I just heard it, exploited. Ah. You're being cheated. You're being lied to. You're being made to look like a fool, collective. Spirit, guys, how is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective in August 2023? Emperor with the uh, hermit. Some of y'all are going through this in regards to a work environment. Your boss ain't shit. Your job ain't shit. The corporation ain't shit, Okay. Some of y'all are going through this with a love connection. Hermit, two of cups, and the seven of swords. This person is greedy. This person is selfish. This person is a liar. This person is two fakes. They're fake. They're, they're fake. They're fraudulent. Yeah, it's giving the energy of wouldn't you rather be somewhere else versus you know, being lied to, taking care, taking advantage of, being exploited. <sighs> Some of y'all is a toxic work environment. Some of you guys is a toxic connection. Oh, I hate this. Uh, it, some of y'all, this could be a co-parenting situation or a relationship that you have uh, with with some parents, okay? Is like really having to love someone from a distance because with the devil card, I, I, I just can't put up with that energy. Again, air, fire, everybody out here. Uh, air and fire, you're, you're strong out here, but earth, you showing up pretty strong too. Spirit guys, how is this full moon in Aquarius? How is this full moon Aquarius affecting the collective? How is this full moon Aquarius affecting the collective, spirit guys? Ten of Wands. Knight of Swords. It's gonna take a lot of you. It's gonna take a lot of you, collective, to uh separate yourself from whatever this is, okay? It's like, like really having to stand up for yourself, it looks like, you know? Like, I'm worth more than this. Some of you guys are going to have to um, be vocal about this in regards to a certain situation. Or you have been. Yeah, something has you, like, all out, like, something here has you all out of bounds in regards to life. Because you are currently attached to it. Ten of Wands could be too many responsibilities, too many obligations, um, too much. You are not Atlas. Who the fuck told you you got to carry the planet, okay? Um, too much is being put on you. Um, 
collective fire signs is definitely you air signs definitely you earth you showing up as well too much is putting is being put on you or you're taking way too much on and some things will need to be let go of spirit guys how is this full moon in aquarius affecting oh okay page of swords five of pentacles <sighs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some of y'all are going to be shown whatever it is okay it's like something will start to show wear and tear whenever um too much pressure is being put on it um this for me is it could be you you're running yourself rampant by uh overworking yourself now your body's starting to give out now you are tired as hell you don't have the energy to do anything else but work Oh my God, you know what I just heard? It's almost like you're being made into a slave. That's what I heard, girl. And in this deck, the Ace of Swords is a black and white card. I don't want to get too political on here, but a lot of y'all are realizing how Certain systematic structures are being put into place to make you just be a worker. Be uh, someone that is providing for um, something else. Okay, but you barely getting anything out of it. Five of Pentacles. Like... <sighs> but there's better. There's... <laughs> There's a, there's a chance for you to get out of this, to get away from this. I mean, some of y'all, it's time for you to look for a new job. It's time for you to look for a new job. A new uh, stream. Okay, a new stream of income. Because either whatever you're doing right now is not allowing you to keep up with your responsibilities. Okay. Or something here is keeping you away from taking care of your responsibilities. It's like you being overworked in a certain situation, a circumstance. And this is making you kind of, you know, fall off in regards to other pursuits in your life. Whether it be sleep, the pursuit of sleep, the pursuit of rest. Or there's other things that you want to um, do. Oh. I see some of y'all that are single parents or you just have a child in general. Some of y'all are feeling this way during this time. Now, you can't leave the baby. No matter how old the kid is, okay? If, it, if it's still in the age of needing to be raised, okay? You can't just leave the baby, okay? But this for me is just uh, when you don't have... I'm going to say it, girl. Whenever you don't have um, a good support system around you, any sort of support system around you. Um, the person who you had the child with ain't shit, you know. So it's everything is just really just falling on you. Spirit guys. Oh, girl, I hate it for you. How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? Things could feel a lot heavier, a lot more burdensome during this time. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Now, some of y'all, I'm not telling you nothing new. You know this. You are aware of this. You are aware of what's holding you down in life. But with the Seven of Pentacles, you got to wait it out. Seven of Pentacles, maybe you got to uh, save up some money to move on from something or someone. It's like, it can't happen now that I separate from it, but I know that I'm separating from it, Okay. Now, some of y'all cut off somebody that was toxic, that was weighing you down. And I feel like this person is just uh, waiting for you to come back around them. Bust the bubble, girl. Don't do it. Do not do it. Because I feel it's like someone here that's used to getting their way, either with you or just in general. It's like, oh, they always come back around. Or 
or like I said, just somebody here that's used to getting their way. This for me is like you decide to stop dealing with someone because they are treacherous. They are toxic as fuck. And this person is used to people just kind of like sticking by their side. Uh, putting up with their shenanigans is what I'm hearing. You don't have to be the one to be like, not this one. It won't be happening over here, okay? Spirit guys, how is this full moon in Aquarius affecting? Damn. Booty up. How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective spirit guys? Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Now, I'm going to be honest. Some of y'all, this is just responsibilities. I feel like there could be certain things that need to get taken care of um, during this time that could be keeping you from things that you really want to pursue. Paying off debt, um, getting things replaced, getting things fixed, getting things repaired, you catching up with certain bills. Who had this? I think cancer. Uh, cancer had that energy in their reading. Who is this? I forgot his name. There's this guy on TikTok that I watch. He's a financial advisor. And them people are strong to uh, be willing to be uh, televised or recorded, excuse me, with him going over their finances. Okay. But he's, I forgot his name. Dave. Not, not Dave. It's not Dave Ramsey. It's not him. It's a, it's a younger guy. But he always makes a point to say to people to where, so you're willing to um, sacrifice a few months of not getting what you want for, um, you know, years of financial turmoil. It's like he's telling people to where, you know, you might got to go a few months without shopping like how you want to just regularly paying off debt not incurring new debt if you want to be in a better financial situation some of y'all this is it, it, this is in regards to your financial situation your spending is out of control you cannot keep up with your um debt all right ace of swords you got to cut that out you got to put yourself on a strict budget you got to be willing to put, tell yourself that we have to practice financial discipline we have to be more um attentive and or observant to what our spending habits are what are we spending our money on bitches the club drinks three of cups fun okay it's like, like like he said you got to give up some uh weeks or months of having fun living how you want to for years of stability now some of y'all like i said it's just paying off debt you got to pay off some debt girl you got to pay down some debt ten of wands and the six of pentacles certain things around you have to get fixed that's showing wear and tear you can't keep riding on that donut it's only supposed to be for a few days max that you got that donut on your car the window does need to get repaired okay the shower you need to have it fixed girl you can't keep going on to your mom and daddy house taking the shower fix it Spirit guys, how is this full moon? E. How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? The magician with the two of wands. I like this. We got a magician and an ace out in the reading. Okay. Two of wands, justice, eight of swords. Yeah, you gotta start asking yourself, what am I what do I have to be willing to cut out my life at this point in time? And it needs to happen in a certain amount of time. Seven of Pentacles, okay? The wait is over. No Rihanna. Yeah, Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Some of y'all got to stop entertaining some silly-ass connection. Air, earth, water. I'm talking to you. And fire. You out here kind of too, okay? Aries, Leo. Why did I say Leo? That's crazy. I guess Leo, you out here too, but I pointed to Ten of Wands, which is a Sagittarius card. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Some of y'all gotta stop entertaining some silly ass connection or silly ass connections. Two of cups, seven of swords, and a page of cups. I mean, what is this? You fucking with somebody, man? You dealing with someone here who continuously uh, cheats lies to you? Puts you second? I'm not going to say what just came to mind, girl. That's your business. Spirit, guys. How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? How is this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective? Spirit, guys. Hierophant. Thank you. Because it scares me with this devil out here. Divinely letting God at your grind, daddy. Emperor, seven of pentacles, and the hierophant. Yes, some of y'all are being divinely letting God into knight of wands. Take certain risks. Ten of cups as it relates to certain dreams that you have. Stop waiting. Magician, ace of swords. Time to put some shit in action, okay? Or setting a time and or date that you need to have this done by. It's like you can't keep putting this shit off. Our fans beside the magician. We're telling you right now is the opportunity. Remember with this Lionsgate portal? The Lionsgate portal is just um, a time during the year when manifestation is its most powerful, is more most potent. So certain things that you want to bring to fruition, now's the time for you to start doing it. Okay, harvest season is here. It's like, do you really want to carry this bullshit that you're dealing with right now into the next year? Last card. Spirit, guys, what's going on? How's this full moon in Aquarius affecting the collective in August 2023? The sun. That's a crazy way to end it. It started off horrible and it ended very nicely. So. Hey, yeah, girl, you're making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. Some of y'all are being called to make certain changes in your life. And it starts with you separating from certain things. It's time for you to quit a job. It's time for you to start investing in these ideas, um, projects, ventures, goals that you have. It's time for you to separate from this person. You got dreams, collective. Seven of cups, eight of cups, and the tower card. But you cannot get to these dreams you can't get to these goals if you're still entertaining the shenanigans tower you're still a part of things that are falling apart you're still around people who ain't doing shit you yourself are still engaging in behaviors that are not taking you to the next level don't worry girl i'm talking to me too it's like you're being made privy to The dreams, the things that you want for yourself that you're that you're neglecting. Yeah, it's like a question of how long you gonna wait. You gotta use what you got, okay? You gotta use what you got to get what you want. Ain't that alchemy? I think that's the definition of alchemy. Using what you have to get what you want. And the magician is out here, girl. It's Posse Blay. Especially with the sun card and the higher finger, it's Posse Blay. Okay? With the devil on the outside, there will be things that kind of keep you trapped in uh, old ways of doing things. Keep you uh, tied to certain situations and or people that are draining you. It's up to you to have the discernment, though, to know that that's going on. And do something about it. Collective, this was your full moon your lunar read for full for the full moon in aquarius slash lion's gate portal i'll be doing a separate reading for that as well if you are an aries sagittarius leo virgo taurus gemini scorpio capricorn some messages in here could definitely resonate with you like the video leave a comment telling me if you just made with you in any way subscribe to the channel pricing and content information is in the description box down below i'll talk to y'all later bye